Well, I just took a big deep breath for nothing. You know, you, you, you think what with me being Canadian, I would be super aesthetic for playing this game. But the moral of the story is I actually fucking hate hockey. So we're going to play some regular ordinary hockey this week. Uh, it's developed by Lauren Lemke. Lemek? Whatever. Uh, it's developed on the, it's developed raw on mono game. No FNA, no anything like, or no Unity or anything like that. You can pick it up for about five to seven of your wet, wet stinky currency. What is it? Relieve the relieve 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 the classic <laughs> golden age of arcade sports game with super blood hockey, a violent homage to classic eight bit and sixteen bit ice hockey games. Uh, we got this on uh, a humble bundle because of the the whole sports thing. So uh, no thanks to Lauren for that. But we're still going to take a look at his game. Uh, this is the acquisition where we take a take a game we break it down we give it the facts of does it launch the performance the graphics and the controls and then we give it a scare uh sc- a scare, scare us. <laughs> Boom! A score from one to four cheers uh based on quality and we also take a look at it from the fun perspective and we give it an arbitrary score of one to four chairs to see if we liked it or not so let's kick it off then tell us about regular ordinary hockey on ubuntu ladies and gentlemen let's see if we're going to try to break this game apart uh 1804.1. I think that's a thing or dot whatever the fuck it is today. Um, out of the box, Ryzen 1700, 980, no problems. UHD, 3840 by 2160. That's right, it's not 4K, kids. Out of the box, no issues. It was able to deliver 60 hipster pixels per second most of the time. There is some slowdown if you increase the bloodletting to 500%, because that's immediately what I did. I did see one glitch in the tutorial, but it sorted itself at kind of what like out of sync, out of focus. I think we all saw this because we have mm-hmm. UHD monitors, but it wasn't an issue. Controls. Use the Steam controller. Even though it showed me Xbox prompts, all the buttons work. I mean, you know, A, B, X, Y, shoulder buttons, all you need for this kit. And uh, logically laid out. Didn't have to remap anything. So, yeah, I'll give it a clean bill of health. Four green chairs on that with a Ubuntu. So how about the fedoras, man? Did we get well, some love? Well. On uh, Fedora 2864-bit with the i7-6700K and the GTX 1080 Ti. Yeah, it did fucking launches. Uh, make sure to disable VSync for maximum FURPS, you guys. So this <laughs> game will buckle, will bring your video card to its knees. Um, yeah, uh, graphics-wise, yeah. I There was the weird zoomy issue um, that happened in the tutorial, but that didn't happen afterwards. So I think it was just like some weird bug. Uh, not really game pay, gameplay impacting at all. Man, I can't just I just can't pronounce letters today. Uh, and control wise, it picks up the DualShock Four. It gives you prompts for the Xbox controller, but everything works aside from that. So I gotta give it four chairs for the for the functional stuff. Yes, over here on Solus three point nine 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 with the Ryzen uh, five sixteen hundred and the GTX ten eighty. It works very much out of the box. It also remembers full screen and windowed settings, which is more than I can say for Unity games nowadays. Uh, the performance is great uh, unless you're trying to record it because during cutscenes uh, the FURPs will dip a little bit, but then they'll pick back up. The graphics. Yeah, it's uh, much like Ven and Jordan already mentioned, uh, the fight scene in the tutorial when they're teaching you to just mash B. Uh, it's zoomed in all the way and you can only make like half the text. Uh, but it's uh, it works fine. Otherwise, it's just that little hiccup. And the controls work uh, for the uh, both the Mistress and the 8-Bit2 controllers. Both of them work just fine. So four chairs, clean bill of health. All right, well, that's the functional section, so good scores on that. Fun-wise, Ven, do you like playing some hockey? Oh, man. You know, Linux and hockey, it goes together because reasons. Fuck you. Well, fin- Finland, right? Uh, right. Uh, no, like, <laughs> seriously, seriously, when I went to Finland, it's like, oh, you're Canadian? You're going to talk about hockey with me. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Um, check it out, man. I mean, outside of the first match being North Korea versus uh, Russia, it's like that had to be done. It's uh, the first thing I noticed uh, is somebody had definitely put Mega Man chiptune music in my hockey game. I was like, whoa, this this is frighteningly close. Nothing wrong with that. I mean, it's a hipster pixel game. What the fuck do you expect, right? It does definitely remind me of the NES sports games of old. Get the fuck off my lawn, kids. It's dead simple, really hard to cock up. That's what I like about it. Not a whole lot of, I mean, there's strategy and stuff like that. You got to fight against it, even on easy. Very, very challenging, even on easy for an old fuck like me. Um... As I said, cutting the blood up, 
500%. That business is real. It's cute. And Pedro mentioned it has battle mechanics where you fight, kind of like NBA Jam or something like that, or whatever it was, that fighting game with the basketballs. There's a lot of mutators to tinker with. Uh, you do have to unlock a couple of them. Unfortunately, there's no mustaches for French Canadians. It's, it makes me less sad. But most importantly, what really gives me a sad face is no online multiplayer, because this could be a nice little fuck around, because it's got tournament mode with brackets and all that. Mm -hmm. That could be interesting. Plus, you can cut the match length down to just one minute per quarter or whatever the fuck all they have in hockey. Hi, Canada. I love you. Um, <laughs> it's all right, man. I mean, listen, it, it's a safe thing to say that you could play this game for five minutes and you're going to know whether or not it's your jam, whether or not you're going to continue playing it, because it's something you can pick up, get angry at, put down. It's a safe bet to buy. It's in the humble. It's cheap. And if you don't like it, Steam refunds, man. Maybe you want to buy it there instead of the bundle, but use the bundle. You can get a lot of extra shit. Uh, I think we got an offer thing, link, something on our website. Help us Absolutely. out. Like, yeah, go click on that. that and go subscribe to Patreon. Patreon.com. Ah! You shameless whore. How did you like it? <laughs> I fucking hate this game, man. Um, I, I so like I, I played like actual hockey as a child. So um, some of the limitations of this game makes me kind of angry in the sense that you know I I know for a fact that you can do this one thing, but the game won't let you. I also like how the AI has its shit together while your team is just completely derp tastic. Um, mm -hmm. Like so much so, where like my goalie just stopped trying after a while and just would let all the goals in. While meanwhile, we got fucking Curtis Joseph on the other team deflecting everything and like ah. Uh, I've never really got the appeal of sports games. I've been one of those people where if I want to go play a sport, I'd like go outside and play a sport. But I mean, if this is your jam, if you like NES or Genesis hockey, then it might be for you. This is not a game that will change anyone's mind in that capacity. It's just, uh, it's it's one of those games, much like golf, where if you put, like, uh, give me a sport with a stick, I will invariably try to hit someone with it. Mm -hmm. um, but you can hit. That's part of the strategy with this. You, 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 you can. Mm -hmm. And, like, I, I, I checked my stats after, like, one of the games. Like, I had significantly higher shot totals and, like, punch totals than the other team. But it's just like, no, they will continually kick your ass because the AI knows what you're doing or knows what they're doing. And for the player facing AI, they just kind of, fucks up constantly mm. uh not very fun not my jam make of that what you will one chair well Pedro, yeah. as somebody else who has a mustachio and beard that do not connect mm -hmm. uh no uh much like jordan i too hate sports games uh, i thought <laughs> you know maybe with the focus on the goofy stuff and the emphasis on the violence i know what i said uh maybe Dangerous. i could find something to enjoy here i didn't uh the it's the hipster pixel it's a hipster pixel hockey game with perhaps the single most annoying soundtrack i've heard since power roomy so minus points for reminding me of that piece of shit game um the only thing so called uh, uh, the only so called sports games that i enjoy are the driving racing ones like dirt rally uh grid very much like those games but then again i draw the line on the f1 games i'm not a big fan of those damn it i'm not uh, logged into steam i was about to gift you the soundtrack it's only an instance yeah uh it's uh i don't like it i it didn't change my mind on the genre and it got itself muted pretty damn quickly one chair all right well that is that for the uh chair qa edition we got any final thoughts about regular ordinary hockey uh, Super blood hockey 799 if it's your thing listen i could understand like if you got somebody to play against i mean playing against the ai is going to get boring but it is fucking challenging it's got that that's what i say when it reminds me of like old nest games is th that's something to do man you got to get good with this or unfortunately we got a billion games to play so you can bitch out as soon as you rage up a little bit but 799 it's worth a try like i said five minutes you're gonna know whether or not this is your jam this is something I'll definitely come back and just fuck around with. I'm not going to get into the tournament mode or anything like that. I'll do an exhibition match and fuck around with some mutators and like, all right, I, I, I'm good. Yeah, if you got the uh, the humble bundle, uh, the humble sports bundle, uh, by all means, give it a try. If you didn't, I'd say give it a pass unless you really like hockey games. Hipster pixel hockey games. All right. And yeah, fuck this game. I hate it. <laughs>